Shabbat Shalom. Today I want to spend a few minutes talking about the spiritual quest, the search for God. Now, when we say quest or search, very often that implies to people the idea of a journey, a physical journey. And there is a, a famous pilgrimage in Spain, the pilgrimage of Santiago de Compostela, which uh, there was a movie about a few years back, and it was fascinating to see the the journey that people were taking physically and spiritually at the same time. But I think that because God is omnipresent, present at all times and places, it's not perhaps necessary for us to take a physical journey in order to find God. In fact, uh, Dr. Abraham Joshua Heschel, one of the great theologians of the 20th century, wrote a book called God in Search of Man, which I think says a world about the reality that even more than human beings are looking for God, he believed, and I believe with him, that God is searching for us, for us human beings. And we make the mistake of thinking that God is, like most everything else in our life, an object of our perception. Heschel brings this beautiful point, a kind of reversal of uh, the usual, when he says that rather than God being the object of human perception, the reality is that human beings are the object of God's perception, which makes God the ultimate subject. And we generally think of ourselves as being subjects, the rest of the world being an object. Heschel assigns human beings to the world of objects and assigns to God the role of the ultimate subject, which means that God is actually prior to our perception of people, places, things, ideas, everything that we're used to calling our life. God is prior to all of that. And so when we journey to God, it's not necessarily going to be an external journey, but rather an internal one. And not even uh, internal in the sense of going within, but I would say it would be enough just to reverse, at least on a temporary basis, the direction of our awareness. If God is the ultimate subject and we are an object of God's perception, then if we want to become aware of God, then it's our task to become an ultimate subject ourselves. And so it's not so much the case that God is out there in front of us, but if I wanted to place God uh, spatially, and it's not exactly kosher to do that, but I, I'd say if I wanted to do that, I would say that God is located behind me, if anything. God is always behind me or prior to my awareness or perception of anything outside myself. And if I want to sense the presence of God, then rather taking a step than taking a step forward, I would take a step back. And when I personally have a, a strong sense of God's presence, what I experience is what I can only describe as witnessing. Maybe for brief moments or maybe even for a couple of minutes, and this happens especially when I talk about it, I become the subject rather than the object. And in that subjective sense, myself expands. And for those few moments, I have a sense of rest and relaxation that is unbelievable because I no longer feel that I am the author of my own actions, but rather that God, for those few moments, is, is just working through me. It can happen when I'm brushing my teeth. So if it happens when I'm brushing my teeth, my experience is that I am not brushing my teeth, but rather my teeth are being brushed. And um, this can happen in virtually any activity. Um, it can happen when you're walking down the street driving your car, or it could happen when you're involved in some intense project even. And when it does happen, it is a blessing because it gives us a glimpse of what human life really could be, uh, truly normal and truly uh, effortless and fulfilling. Not that you don't have to work at things, you do, but sometimes in the midst of your work, you may find that there's a higher power and a higher intelligence directing your hands and directing your mind. So the search for God is really every bit as much God searching for us as it is our searching for God. Shabbat Shalom. 
Look forward to seeing you in Shul.